whenever I talk about Parker reforms, uh, I always feel that I have to say again what I said before because nobody was listening. Cars are parking 95% of the time, but parking is free to us only in our role as motorists. Uh, because we pay for parking uh, in every other aspect of our lives. The cost of parking doesn't cease just because the driver doesn't pay for it. The cost is still there and it has to be paid for by someone. And that someone is everyone, even people who are too poor to own a car. Here's a, a, a further view of the Cisco campus. And you wonder even what are the addresses of these buildings are. They're put in the middle of the parking lot uh, because that minimizes the total walking distance from the cars to the, to the office building. Well, did the, did the planners in Cincinnati really know so much about parking that they can precisely require how much parking every building has to have? Uh, if the government regulated any other aspect of our lives the way they regulate parking, we'd all be joining the Tea Party. Here's what it looks like from the ground. On average, for a, um, an underground structure, it's uh, $34,000 per space, and for an above ground structure, it's uh, $24,000 per space. Are people really able to pay that? I mean, you're requiring it without any, without any concern for the cost. One parking space can cost as much as five times the net wealth of, of the median black household. And yet we, we place a lot of uh, creases to the idea that people need a car, even though there are a lot of people who don't have cars. Drivers park without paying and non-drivers pay without parking. I think one of the worst planning mistakes we have made is to create a city where transportation is very difficult for people who don't own a car. There's no justification for these off-street parking requirements that I think are such a bane on our society. Removing these parking requirements will allow a lot of good things to happen. Some people think that charging for parking is un-American. Well, I think it's a very American policy to charge people for what they use. You know, we didn't become a great nation by being a bunch of freeloaders. But when it comes to parking, we want to be freeloaders. Everybody wants to park free, including me. Uh, but when the right person gets the money, they understand that parking wants to be paid for.